Let's talk about the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. It goes by another name, the Redmi K20 Pro. MKBHD did a video on it and it blew up because it offers such incredible value for money. This phone is also available without the Pro moniker with a lower end chipset, but because it's a Pro, it's got a Snapdragon 855 and nice, super fast charging as well. You can charge it up at 27 watts, 4,000 milliamp battery under the hood. I'm gonna dive under the hood of this box in a sec. Before I do, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do, it's how you stay on top of everything that I do. Right, haven't got a knife, so using trusty tweezers to get through the plastic, make up a lot of noise and lift the lid on what many reviewers are calling the next Poco phone because it offers such incredible shake, shake, shake value for money. And like I said, there isn't very much on this box of note, except for the fact that sadly, I got the carbon black version, which means I didn't get the flaming red one or the blue one, Glacier Blue. But having said that, the specs are gonna be the same and that's what you're really gonna be buying into. If I lift the lid instantly, I can see there is a case in the box, which is always handy. And it is the kind of case that we got with the Xiaomi Mi Mix. So it's a little bit more robust than the traditional cases. It's that matte black hard plastic case. Putting that to one side, we have the phone itself, Mi 9T Pro. I've also got a Mi 9 alongside that I can do size comparisons with in a second. But let's take that out. Let's peel the plastic off the back. Oh, it's so shiny. It's definitely thicker than the Mi 9, that 4,000 milliamp battery. Definitely adding some beef to that phone. Powering it up, got a little vibrate. While it's doing its do, I'm gonna walk around the other side of the camera so that I can talk around the box while you can still see the phone in frame so you can see the boot up screen. Lift the lid on the 27 watt charger and that's a bit of a wedged charger right there. And 27 watt charger, I've got the European variant um, and you've also got a USB cable. You'll notice there's no USB to headphone jack converter in the box. Why is that? It's because there's a headphone jack on this phone, which is so, so handy. Right, to this phone, we've got the display. It is a nice big, I think it's a 6.4 inch display, 6.39. So it's the same kind of module that you found on the Mi Mix 3, for example, I'm guessing, because it's the same Super AMOLED tech with the same resolution, full HD plus. Down at the base, you've got that USB port, um, USB-C and a SIM tray at the bottom. Left side, no button, so no Google Assistant button as found on the Mi Mix 3. And at the top, you've got the headphone jack, right hand side power button, which is a shiny, nice red color and the volume rocker. Around the back, you've got the triple camera setup as found on the Mi Mix, uh, on the, not Mi Mix 3, on the contrary, on the Mi 9. So side by side, you can see no water droplet notch, same size screen though, generally the same kind of impression looks really really nice and the all screen display is wonderful i'm going to super quickly skip through all of this stuff just so i can fire up that pop-up camera it's set up right let's get quickly talking around what's inside this thing it's a snapdragon 855 processor combined with six gigs ram 128 gigabytes of storage it's not expandable by micro SD card, so 128 gigs needs to suffice for you. It runs MIUI 10, which has its pros, it has its cons, heavily customizable. So you've got that all screen display and it's thanks to that pop-up camera. So let's fire it up. Pop-up camera up and pop-up camera down. Lights on, lights off. So that's been my quick mess making unboxing video with the Xiaomi Mi 9T, also known as the Redmi K20 Pro. If you've got any questions about it, fire them in the comments section below and subscribe to the channel. Stay on top of everything that I do. Also hit that bell to get alerts when I upload a video like this one. Bye guys.